This is Tank's Vlog, May 9th, 2019, wrapping up today in sports. The more I see the Mets, the more it, it comes to me that Mickey Calloway has got to go! This guy, uh, this guy actually, I think, loves losing. I honestly think this manager loves losing. There's no other way to describe it. There's no other way to describe it. And Brody Van Wagenen, best 25. You're telling me Tyler Basher is one of the best 25? He can't be. This roster sucks right now. We got Keon Broxton, who can't buy a hit against a little leaguer. And we got options in the minors. First off, Dom Smith needs to come back. The Mets don't have a left-handed pitter off the bench. And yesterday, could have certainly used one. And especially when Todd Frazier came up there with that uncompetitive at bat. <sighs> Fly out to left field. Let me hit into a double play. Let me strike out looking or swinging a pitch that's a mile away. In other words, I can't hit. In other words, I play like shit. You know, the Mets' offensive woes started when Todd Frazier came back. It's not a coincidence. Todd Frazier sucks. He sucks. He is terrible. And yet, he's shooting in the lineup every night by that fucking moron manager. Oh, we're going to work through it. We're going to work through it. Oh, there's no panic here. We don't need to panic. He plays every game with the intensity of spring training. He doesn't care. He actually likes losing. I think if the Mets were on a two-game winning streak, he'd lose the darn one because he don't have the other team to win as a time of fair play. Joe Girardi probably would be the best choice to get the next manager of the Mets. Will it happen? Probably not. The person the Mets can definitely hire. He's out there. They could get him. He was in the organization in the past. He played for the Mets. He played on the 86 Mets. Why not John Gibbons? Why not give this guy a chance to be their manager? This team has no heart. And it comes from that manager. It starts with him. They're three games below 500. They're 17 and 20. They're coming home for a three-game home stand. They're never home. They're on the road every goddamn day. They've played 37 games, and just 12 of them have been at home. And not only coming home for a three-game home stand. They've played more than two-thirds of their games on the road. Now they're going to get watch. They're going to lose two out of three to the Marlins. And it's going to be Mickey. It's going to be, well, it's okay. you got to feel good for the Marlins. you got to feel good for them. They played really good this weekend. They beat us. I'm happy that they won. You know, nobody should lose any games except us. Because we, because I love losing. That's Mickey Calloway. He loves losing. <sighs> get him out of here. Get him out now. They are, this season is on the brink. If they don't have a good weekend against the Marlins, it's over. There, there's no shot. If they go down, if the Marlins come in here and beat the Mets, it will wake up everyone and say, See, we're done. It's not even Mother's Day. We're done. Fire Mickey Calloway. Fire him. Fire him. Fire him. Yankees' win streak came to an end as they were thumped by the Marlins. Mariners, 10-1. to 1. The Yankees had, couldn't figure out Yasiel Kowalikiki. As he said, what was that? Kikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikik
as a pinch hitter, leading the Rangers past the Pirates 9 6. Wilmer Flores got the big hit in the 13th inning as the Diamondbacks beat the Rays 3 2. Christian Yelich hit the home run number 16, leading the Brewers past the Nationals. They have now won six in a row. Jack Eikhoff had led the Phillies to a 5 0 win over the Cardinals as the Mets get further and further and further and further in the rear rear mural. Jose Ramirez had a two run homer in the ninth, giving the Indians a walk off win over the White Sox 5 3. A brilliant catch by Jackie Bradley Jr., where he was like took the ball like from like the eighth row of the stands, helped the Red Sox get back to 500 at 19 and 19 as they edged the Orioles 2 to 1. It was the Twins 9-1 winners over the Blue Jays. Kyle Gibson struck out 11 in that game. And Jorge Polanco went 5-for-5. Five five. Ronnie Rodriguez drove in four runs to lead the Tigers past the Twins. And better class the Angels 10-3. Jason Hayward, 11th inning walk-off homer, led the Cubs. To a win over the Mar Marlins, three to two. It was the Astros beating the Royals nine to nothing as Mickey Brantley homer twice. Day after no hitter, Athletics beat the Reds again five to four. On a uh, Stephen Piscotty walk off home run in the thirteenth. Kiki Rodriguez, Max Muncie, and J Justin Turner all hit home runs. To lead the Dodgers to a 9-4 win, completing a sweep. Dodgers right now, best team in baseball at 25-14. and 14. And the Giants and Rockies were postponed. Interesting that those two teams were postponed. That gave their fans more time to watch the San Jose Sharks and Colorado Avalanche play Game 7 of their second round series. Sharks were given an emotional lift with the return of Joe Pavelski, who was injured in Game 7 in the first round. Severe concussion. Came back, led an emotional effort with a goal and an assist as the Sharks beat the Avalanche 2-1, to 3-2 to two, I should say, and now are ready to take on the St. Louis Blues in the Western Conference Finals. NBA. When Irish eyes are crying, the whole world is watching. But with the Boston Celtics float away, the Boston is me pee. The Boston Celtics gave no crap. Their fans are really sad. Because the Celtics season's over now. They underachieved all year. When they will be so happy, as Kyrie Irving says, to the loo to all you Bostoners, I really didn't like it here. Oh, the Celtics played like crap, they didn't really try, and now they're going home for the rest of the season to cry. Yes, it was the Milwaukee Bucks. 116 and 91 winners over the Celtics. As just another, just what happened to Celtics? You know, this team had so much talent, but it was almost like the talent overwhelmed itself. There was not enough balls to go around. And Kyrie Irving just did not fit. He doesn't fit. The Celtics, he's gone. He will not, the Celtics will not resign him. I don't think the Celtics at this point want to resign him. Uh, and, you know, he's the perfect Nick. He's the perfect Nick. Big name, overhyped, doesn't always play hard. Should be better, not quite better. I mean, he, he's coming to New York. Kyrie Irving will be a New York Nick. Mark it down. And there's no, I have no doubt in my mind that Kyrie Irving will be a New York Knick next year. The other guy the Knicks want 
suffered an injury. And that was Kevin Durant. After scoring 22 points and leading the Warriors to build a 14-point halftime lead. Without uh, Durant, the Rockets came all the way back, briefly took a third uh, quarter lead. But, 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 it was Steph Curry, Klay Thompson down the stretch. And the Warriors found a way to win Game 5, taking a 3-2 series against the Rockets, winning 104-99. This series has been all home court. I expect that not to change. Don't know what Kevin Durant's status will be for Game 6. But this series looks like it's definitely heading for a 7th game. Today's three stars are Joe Pavelski of the Sharks, James Harden of the Rockets, who had 31 points in a loss, and Jorge Polanco went 5-for-5, five five, leading the Twins to their win. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Steve Yeiserman who's 54, was a captain for the Red Rings when they turned their whole franchise around, helped them win four Stanley Cups, uh, played 25 years, then retired. <clears throat> and now, after helping to build the Tampa Bay Lightning into contenders, he's now back in Detroit, and today he turns 54. So let's see if he can get the Red Wings back on track as they they have not been too good the last few years. They've all those championship years, all those playoff appearances, they have to pay the piper and take it on the chin a little bit. And we take a look back to nineteen eighty four when the Chicago White Sox and Milwaukee Brewers played a twenty five inning game spaced over two days. Tom Seaver actually got the win. As he was scheduled to pitch the second game, and actually didn't win the second game of, well, the originally scheduled game is, the American League actually back then had a rule where no game could, could no inning could begin after the 1 o'clock. So it was a curfew rule that they had only in the American League. National League did not have a curfew. And now no league has a curfew. And the uh, White Sox ended up outlasting the Brewers 7-6 to six in 25 innings. Check out the story of Barstow Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.